In this little village in the Philippines lives Maria Estrella Samonte, and she's one woman with a very unique medical malfunction. Since birth, she has had an appendage growing from her forehead, and Maria is wholly convinced that this growth is her third breast. Now, although that seems impossible, she's about to embark on an extraordinary journey to find out the truth. I can feel it when it's full moon. Then my breast is very tight and fluid is released. When the moon wanes, it's gone. It's definitely a breast. Although a popular and much-loved village member, due to her affliction, Maria has never found wedded bliss. She lives with her brother and ten other family members in this hut with no electricity. Her brother took her in when her dad kicked her out after she became unwilling to continue appearing as a pay-per-view freak. When I was a child, I have been exhibited on fun fairs. People just wanted to look at my breast. Having never seen a doctor, Maria's never quite been able to establish whether or not her growth is an actual breast. It looks like a breast, it has a nipple like a breast, but is it a breast? The local healer took a look, but the herbs didn't seem to make much of a difference. However, one day a kindly German nurse came to the village and on witnessing Maria's plight, whisked her off to Germany to have it removed. It was a shock, a real shock. After meeting her, I thought of our doctors. It's the first time Maria has ever left the village, but it's going to be worth it, because all being well, she'll be coming back home with a brand new, appendage-free face to show off to her tribe. She has also never been exposed to strangers, but with a scar finding her problem, and being the tolerant nation that they are, the Germans are more accepting of her predicament and welcome her with open arms. She has a date with Professor Bernhard Liedke, one of the most respected gynaecological plastic surgeons in Germany, and he is on a mission to find out if this really is a breast. These pictures are really alien. I have never seen something like that in my gynaecological career. It really holds and looks like a breast, especially the skin formation on the tip of the tumour reminds me of a nipple. Hello. Hello, the first checks do not give conclusive evidence if the growth is a real breast. Only the X-ray machine can tell us for sure. After a tense wait, the professor finally has the answer. It is not a mammary gland attached to her forehead. It is in fact just a hole in her skull. The two front bones have not grown together properly. Through this hole, the brain's covering has bulged out over the ears and filled with fluid. The nipple is apparently a pure coincidence. No matter what it is, Maria is sure of one thing. She's desperate to have it removed, and now. Technically, the operation is a huge challenge. Professor Menzel has to carefully open up the skull and fill the hole at the front with muscles from the inside. Once this part of the surgery is over, it's time for the growth to finally come off. Six days later, Maria has a new face and nothing remotely resembling a breast in sight. I'm so happy. It is beautiful. With a great weight lifted quite literally off her mind and a new outlook on life, once the swelling goes down, Maria will be ready to go back home.